I'd like to talk about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is nothing that you fix it once and for all and it goes and it never comes back. It's actually something that I've had to deal with it myself all my life. And it's something that we go out of it and we come back in it and we go out and we come back and it comes back. And it's something that we just have to learn to um, constantly fight it. I've had many clients because of it, because I had to deal with it myself. And uh, it's a wonderful way of actually recognize it and realizing that no matter how good you do, no matter how smart one is and all successful one is, but one doesn't see itself that valuable that the rest of the world sees us. And also another way of imposter syndrome is that the idea of fitting in. We can be great on something, but we don't feel we fit in with that crowd. We can be even better than everybody else, but that is what the is imposter syndrome is. And it's troublesome. I have dealt with it. So I have three invitations, three ways to invite you towards this. One of the greatest way is that always when it hits you and you're in it, recognize it and just think about now is the time that I have to write down my thoughts. No matter how negative your thoughts are and whatever it says to you, you are, make sure you write that down and then you'd write the opposite of that. How you want to feel, write that as well. And definitely journal it and, and read what you've written quite a few times and the opposite that you've written. Read that as well quite a few times. That's one of the ways that once you read it, it makes you wonder, mm, am I really right for what I feel? But it comes with practice. Number two, the best part of it is that do work out. I cannot insist enough that no matter what we deal with in life, working out and exercising is the easiest, the fastest, is the most a freeing, liberating uh, way of dealing with our emotional roller coaster that we have. Whatever is available to you, just go walk. You can swim, go swim. No matter what is available to you, do what's available and do it for a period of time. It really, really helps when you choose a way of exercise and after it, when you finish, you just see, oh, the idea is gone and you have no idea, like, what was I thinking? And it goes away. And number three, speak to a friend. When that happens, speak to someone that is close to you and just tell them what you're feeling, how you feel. And you always tell them, you don't need their opinion. You just want to talk to them. Talk to someone as close as your spouse your children talk to somebody in that moment and ask them to just listen to you that's all it's it's very very nice when you can actually get it off your chest and you can talk to somebody I got my client Jill to do that and after she started talking a few times about it she called and she said she felt so much freer and Jill by the way is a psychologist and she's been my client since 2007. And she finds being able to talk to it, even a caregiver to her husband, it helps her. It's, it's effective, try it.